How do you check a starter solenoid? Ah, the starter solenoid. This little beast is like the middleman of your car's electrical system, relaying a powerful electric current to the starter motor and setting your engine in motion. First things first. Safety. Make sure your car is off. I'm serious here. Pop the hood and prop it up. Now here in Portland, you want to make sure you're not doing this in the pouring rain. Getting zapped isn't my idea of a good time. You'll need a couple of tools. A screwdriver with an insulated handle and a multimeter or a test light. Locate the solenoid. It's usually on the starter motor itself or mounted elsewhere in the engine bay, but with wires leading to the starter. You can usually follow the red cable from the battery to get to the solenoid. Check it visually first. If it looks like it's been through a Portland Trailblazers game, battered and bruised, that's a sign. Now take your trusty screwdriver with that insulated handle, remember? And short the big terminals of the solenoid. You're basically creating a bridge between them. It's like telling the electrical current Hey, forget the formal route, take this shortcut. Please, be careful with this step. If the starter motor cranks the engine, your solenoid might be fine. But if there's just a click or silence, it could be bad news for our middleman. Alternatively, use your multimeter. Set it to continuity mode and check for continuity between the two large terminals. If you don't get a reading, it's time for a new solenoid. Still with me? Good. Another check is to see if you're getting voltage to the solenoid. Set your multimeter to DC voltage, put the positive probe on the terminal connecting to the starter motor, and the negative one on a good ground. If you're getting battery voltage but nothing's coming out to the starter, then you've got a bad solenoid. Remember this is a simplified guide. Cars are like people, unique and sometimes complicated. When in doubt, call a professional. No shame in that. And there you have it. Once you've gone through these tests, you should have a pretty clear idea if your solenoid is good to go, or if it's about to retire. Stay safe and happy wrenching from Portland.